Hello and welcome to another video from WireToTheEar.com. I'm going to show you a really great piece of software called Harmony Navigator. It's from a company based out of Hamburg, Germany named Cognitone. Harmony Navigator is like an instrument that plays chord progressions. By clicking on the palettes, like the one you see here, you trigger chords and accompaniments. This lets you discover progressions that you like and then can export and use in your own songs. And today I'm going to create a verse and a chorus and bring that MIDI into Ableton Live 7. So let's take a tour of Harmony Navigator and let's click on some chords and hear what it does. Now we have this other window and it's called the circle of fifths and when you click on a chord here it changes the root chord of the entire palette. So take a look and then you see here. So let's go back and we can do this on the fly. So take a listen. Pretty cool, huh? Now we're not stuck with just this accompaniment. We can just uh, click this menu and pick a whole a whole bunch of you know nice and strange things to play with. So let's just start and test basic piano. And let's see, groovy band pattern, let's try that. That was nice. Um, I really like the Moonlight Sonata clone. Check this out. This is wild. That's really cool and you can actually edit and import your own accompaniments. Now, there are more than just this one palette, and this is where things get pretty exciting. So, let's open the palette selections, and let's pick, for example, Trance, and let's take a listen to this. Now, you notice it gives you a different, a different selection of chords that um, or all relation or relationships. So I don't know the exact right word, but you get what I mean. And let's take a listen. Let's up another palette just to get an idea. Um, let's see, Chanel number five, channel number five. Let's see what this sounds like. And you'll notice also, by the way, there's a little keyboard here that pops up and it'll show you the chords as you play, which if you're, if you're learning is uh, pretty cool. So let's take a listen.
And again, you can change the accompaniments to go with, you know, mix it up with any of these uh, different palettes you use. So let's try something just off the wall here. And lastly, if you look here, you can, um, you know, mute uh, the sounds. So. It's just, it's massive what you can play with. I mean, if you're not a player, here you have all these different styles and chords that are uh, related, and uh, it's, it's totally fun. And the next step now is to show you a practical use for it, how you can take some of this stuff and use it in your own music. So now I'm going to pick some chords in a progression, record them, and then export it as a MIDI file, which I'm going to later import into Ableton Live 7. I've already been playing around, so I have an idea of what I want. So I'm going to go right ahead, hit record, and play, play what I will want as my verse. Now, if you see here along the strip, this is where it recorded my information that I just played. And we could actually go in and edit, edit that, but I know I did everything correctly. So let's go and file, export, standard MIDI file, save it to the desktop, give it a name. Let's call it verse and hit save. And if you look here, Here's the file, and now let's do the, uh, the chorus. For the chorus, I'm going to switch the root key to here, and, <laughs> and you notice I say here, because I'm not sure if that's F major or F minor, but that's, that's the beauty of Harmony Navigator. You really don't have to know all this music theory. You can just uh, play, have fun, pick what you like, and use it. Hit the chord. Great. And now let's export that. Now here I'm going to show you something that's Important. That's going to help you when you download and use this program. When I exported the verse, I did not deselect these two. And I'm going to deselect them now. And I wanted to before, but I forgot. And actually, it's okay because when I import these two, the verse and the chorus, into Ableton, I'll show you what these things have done um, program changes and lead in. So the verse that's already on our desktop has it has these selected and the chorus doesn't. So let's save this chorus. And it's also going to go to the desktop. And let's name the chorus. And here it is. So now we've used Harmony Navigator to create a verse and a chorus. And now let's go into Ableton Live and import this stuff and see if we can use it to create a